Hello Luxo community, uh, I'm glad that I'm finally making this video, I wanted to do that for a while. I'm going to as well um, post this on X platform and uh, tag it with Lux and I hope that more Luxo community will be able to watch this video because I believe this is a very important video. Uh, first of all, before I start, I would just like to uh, introduce myself a little bit. So I'm the Centralized Dave, uh, this is my YouTube channel and um, I actually follow Luxo uh, ever since I made this in-depth research uh, review about it. Uh, as you can see, I made it uh, on 28th of July 2022. So it's been like uh, almost two years, one year and three quarters ago. So a lot of happened uh, in the meanwhile um, and uh, also lots of were done uh, on Luxo as you can see here. I've been talking about this LSPs and back there the main net was still just a promise. Today the main net is real uh, and um, um, and yeah so that would be a little bit about my background. Um, now the purpose of this video is just to uh, share my view um, about, about the Luxo, the current Luxo situation, uh, which uh, is uh, serious. I would lie if I would say that uh, I was just listening to to Fabian uh, on X just uh, half an hour ago, and he seems uh, as jo jo joyful, and he seems as um, uh, excited as ever. Um, but uh, I do believe that the current situation is important. I'm going to now switch into the, this is the Lux price, the price of the token. Um, the situation is, is um, um, uh, critical even because, um, well, okay, the, uh, um, the, the price of the token is back to October lows. And it's actually all time low of the token that is on the mainnet. But if you check the old token that was on the Ethereum, the, you will discover that the cycle low were actually $3 that made that, that happened on June 2022. So there is still some way to go to $3, but still uh, back to October lows. And of course, investors are furious, uh, not only depressed, but uh, just, uh, you know, uh, also the loss of opportunity for them and, and et cetera. Um, uh, but uh, not only the situation is, is critical, not only for the investors, but also for, that, uh, for the project in general, for the team as well, for the Fabian's team, because uh, he funds the team from the token sales, as many teams do. This is nothing out of that ordinary. But uh, when the token price gets too low, then obviously then the team is not able to uh, carry the old expenses that it currently has. And in that case, it will have to lay down a portion of the team uh, and etc. So I do believe that the situation uh, indeed is uh, very critical. And as you can see, this does seem like a downward downward spiral actually uh, ever since like the 10th of march of the past uh, 11 days it seems like a downward spiral um uh now why the situation is uh, is like this there are a couple of factors being in play uh, one of them is the liquid issue i'm going to talk about the liquid issue in a while another one that i would like to talk first and foremost is the liquidity issue because um this is uh, lux on coin gecko and when you check uh, there that it's not on that uh, the most liquid exchanges uh, uh there i do believe that also fabian uh, underestimated um the the whole liquidity importance uh, for uh, the project because <clears throat> uh, i'm not sure what is the process of uh, of getting listed on binance but i do believe that it costs lots of money uh, however uh, it didn't happen uh, there is there are only few exchanges kucoin gate and mexc and just a few months ago there was only kucoin the, situ the situation was way worse um, and the most liquid uh, uh, trading pair is on KuCoin, uh, so that's the uh, that's what I have opened here. 
But uh, if you check the order books on all the exchanges, it's actually not that much, uh, not that much liquidity. If you sum it all, then there is like, a, uh, as you can see, there is some, there is like eight hundred and thirty thousand daily volume, uh, daily trading volume. Uh, the market cap uh, of the current uh, circulating supply um, is. Uh, is 147 uh, million. So um, the liquidity is not ideal. And if you check the order books, I don't have the order books opened here, but if you check the order books, even on KuCoin, then you will discover that any top 40 holder um, can basically zero the price, kind of. If, if the anybody from the top 40 uh, addresses would just uh, spread the coins on the exchanges and just the market dump um, yeah uh, the price would essentially go to zero uh, would zero the price um, so that's one of the uh, main issues here because um, there are uh, significantly bad news about liquid I'm gonna go to, go to it very very soon uh, but uh, also there were uh, presumably the team was selling here in this uh, in this area uh, if there is a way how to find out which address is associated with the team so then please let me know um, but uh, uh, so there was uh, definitely some profit taking in January because the price went from uh, from five dollars to eleven point half, and also the Bitcoin was uh, slightly uh, also correcting here at the uh, uh, at the end of January. But also then with combination with the bad news and with a, uh, a little bit of the crisis with Liquid, which used to be I believe the most popular DAP on on Laxo. Uh, that combined with low liquidity is indeed the receipt uh, for a disaster. So now this was a kind of a pessimistic maybe even uh, to listen to me because I'm just uh, talking about how serious the situation is. Uh, I don't want to underestimate it really. Uh, now I would like to go into the little bit of the positive stuff. So these are the on-chain uh, metrics. Uh, and these uh, metrics are indeed very important. So the number one thing that I would like to do, mention is that this is the active accounts um, uh, per period. Um, and as you can see, uh, the number of accounts, it is going down since the mid-January, but uh, I believe it's stabilizing. And there is also ever since like the um, like, like 10th of March, it seems to be stabilized. It's it's uh and it's still um well a couple of times even higher than it was the last year or even in, in December. And remember the price in December. This is the December. The price was uh, significantly higher than it is today. It was actually like uh, like sixty percent higher. But the active accounts are way actually multiples uh, higher than that uh, these are the new accounts per day this is uh, also a very important metric so as you can see this stabilized uh, it went down uh, a lot yesterday but uh, unfortunately there is no way to turn on like a moving average so we would see we can see we have to read through these spikes and downs we have to kind of just get some kind of an average reading by ourselves here and i could say that the average reading is around 50 just by the the, the way i look at it and uh when i compare it with december or, or november last year it was way lower it was way lower it was like 20 and november even even less so again, like double, like double the new accounts uh, comparing to December. Um, new transactions, this is obviously very important that I also think stabilized because yeah, that was going down uh, like since the mid Jan to the mid February, but since the mid February of the past month, this stabilized, okay? Uh, it stabilized around like seven, 8,000 uh, transactions new transactions 
and that's incomparably higher than the timber okay that's what 10 times higher even more and and at the same time we have a crisis with the most popular d app on axo as well so in spite of that and we have the spiraling price that is spiraling down or looks like it's spiraling down at the moment um another uh important metric is that i look at is new contracts this one is the least convincing uh actually um so um the the new contracts um it stabilized around again i wish there was an option to turn on the moving average but it stabilized around it's very hard to say because it varies it ranges it ranges from 80 to 200 ish so i would say it's stabilized around 140 or so and and uh, comparing with December, there were there were some spikes over two hundred, but overall and also in November it kept reasonably below hundred. So you could say that also the new contracts, uh, the number of the new contracts on the network is also higher uh, than it was in December. Uh, or in uh, November last year uh, but let's compare it with December uh, because as we have shown the price in December was way higher so um, none of these uh, none of these metrics that I can see here uh, uh, tell me that the network should just die and have no users no activity no building activity and just be forgotten and just go to where I don't know NXT went or something like that. Um, none of these things, none of these metrics, none of the data that I can see uh, tell me that. Um, another important um, uh, data that I want to walk you through is the um, top addresses, top holders. Okay, these are the top accounts on the Luxo network okay as you can see this is for instance some of them uh is very clear what they are this is a, a Luxo migration founder and it holds a five million lux this is deposit contract but some of these addresses also this has like 181 transactions this one was 89 so i'm going to presume that these addresses are going to be associated with the exchanges uh okay because we have um we have uh, we have gate we have kucoin we have mexc okay um but um then as we go down further uh, again if you have the information which one of these addresses belongs to the team but they probably have it spread across multiple addresses i just don't have that information because uh, obviously it would be very nice to watch the selling activity of the team and also how much leaks do they have left uh, <clears throat> and if you go uh then to the ninth tenth and and further down below at the largest addresses uh the largest holders uh on laxo then you are going to discover that uh, as you can see these guys have only like one two three transactions we don't have to even check them i checked okay let's let's just check this 13th guy but um he is not changing his um his account his balance as you can see the last activity was five months ago and this is my point here like the largest addresses the largest um the largest uh, accounts on Lux or the whales, presumably. I'm going to presume these are the entities. Uh, these are the whales. Um, they're not selling. Um, again, if one of these guys would decide to sell, 
he could zero the price though because of the lower liquidity but this is this is issue with many projects as well by the way like in meme coins you have exactly the same like any of the top 10 holder can zero the price in an instant and just rack pull it any anyone um so um let's go down and let's go check some of the like a top 30 maybe because we are in top 20 but i do not see any selling activity there is a number 16 address but this is a contract that is a contract it has many uh, transactions so let's go down i we've checked already top 20 okay there is uh the the top 20 uh, exactly top 20 that's the address that holds 244,000 lux the, that's 12 transactions so let's check that one out what what that address what this guy is doing and yeah this is also my point because i've been checking some of these guys and every single time when i saw uh, the whale had an activity recently it was not selling more or less not selling this guy and the last activity was like two weeks ago this is very unlikely this is not going to be an exchange this guy accumulated like a quarter million lux uh, and it's not selling as well. Um, let's check another one. We are in now in top 25. Let's check another one. Let's, let's try to find one of these whales that is selling. This one has six transactions. It's number 23. Let's check that one out. And there is one guy that is selling. There is one guy that is selling, but is selling slowly, actually. Is slowing, uh, yeah, and has been like three weeks ago, he sold like 5,000 lux, one week ago, 5,000 lux, 18 hours ago, 5,000 lux. Well, that's literally he's still holding 220,000 lux so yes he is um let's say hedging uh, in case the the token price spirals out of control and really goes to a new all-time lows and or a cycle lows for in that regard below three dollars etc uh, but i would not call it excessive selling okay let's check the last one and then let's go to the liquid issue. Uh, I can see number 28 and 30 having a few transactions. So let's, <coughs> excuse me, let's check the bigger guy, number uh, 27, was it? And let's check his uh, coin balance history. And there you have it again. Yeah, he had like 1,000 lugs, I believe, before. But there is a, so much activity here. Um, yeah, I don't know what to, uh, what to think of this. Like 12 hours ago, yeah, this, this is probably not going to be... Is this MEXC? Because MEXC listed... No, it's it's probably not. Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not convinced. This is a this is a whale. I'm not convinced. Uh, not convinced, guys. I'm not convinced about it. Um. So let's check then the last one, the number thirty, that I can see eight transactions. This address holds one hundred and eighty thousand lux. And this guy sold 20,000 lux, but that was two months ago. That was even before the liquid crisis struck. Because the liquid crisis struck, and now we're going to go there. We're going to talk about it. Um, 
on on February the 17th, I believe. The February the 17th was the day when Liquid announced that it misallocated 320,000 lakhs. 320,000 lakhs, which is because current circulating supply is about 30 million. So you could say it's about 1% of the current circulating supply, uh, which is not that little, okay? Uh, and <clears throat> it was on uh, 17th of February when uh, they've announced it. So it was in this moment, it was in this moment, uh, until that point, uh, Lux was actually just, well... But I could still say it was just having a normal correction and it was the start of February. I believe that back then also Bitcoin was actually no start of February. Bitcoin was already going up. Um, however, um, just yeah, um, before the, uh, the that was when the, the, the liquid uh, crisis struck. And now I would like to talk to you about this, uh, this issue and about also what I think that is going to be likely resolution. So um, on, on, on 17th of February, Liquid announced that it is misallocated 320,000 lakhs, which is about 1% um, of the circulating supply. What is Liquid? First of all, Liquid was, was, it's definitely not anymore uh, and it's not going to be, never going to be again. I mean, never say never, but 99% chance it's never going to be again popular DAP uh, on, on Luxo. They are done. Um, uh, and it was a staking DAP because you have to be validator and possess technical knowledge to stake on Luxo. So that's why there are third party uh, staking services that people are looking for that allow them to stake uh, Luxo. Uh, and Liquid was the, I'm not sure if it's the only one, but definitely the most popular one because 2 million lakhs got staked there. 2 million lakhs is actually like 8% of the circulating supply, so tremendous amount. Ever since this happened, they misallocated 320,000. They hold uh, all their staked, uh, all their staked uh, fund, all the staked lakhs that the that, that, uh, users staked there, they hold it. Uh, they're not releasing it uh, back to their users. And they are trying, they have been negotiating with somebody uh, as they have been saying that, you know, uh, we are going to find the, the, the way how to uh, recover 320,000 lakhs. Um, uh, and they're trying to resolve it uh, uh, that by that by that, but there was some kind of a negoti negotiation which likely fell because there was an update uh, that was uh, the last update was on fifteenth of uh, March, where they just uh, kind of admit that there is uh, likely they still say that. Uh, um, be, that, that they would like to deposit 320,000 lakhs, but I think it's very unlikely, okay, that this happens, even though I can't exclude it, but uh, it's very unlikely that this happens. And this is my final point in this video as well. Um, but um, uh, the second uh, uh, the second possible solution that they uh, mention here is in my opinion the likely one and that is that they will uh, have to write a contract uh, uh, have to update their smart contract to allow the users to only withdraw about 85 percent of their funds okay because um 320 lux was around 15 percent of the staked lux that they had so that's why 85% funds that the users could potentially withdraw because that's what they have left. And also they say and admit that that would take time because they would also have to audit the, so weeks to months. So my final point of this video that uh, it's going to be probably weeks to months before people get their staked liquid. Uh, they staked lux from liquid, okay? which is like 
one one point seven million lux, you know. And those people are desperate that they have staked and they couldn't get their tokens back. They lost the fate, and majority of them are just going to dump. I want to dump at least, okay. So, uh, in my opinion, it's gonna take weeks to months before they get their tokens back, and before they can uh, they can dump it. So, if that's the case, then uh, there is probable cause, or, uh, or in my opinion, there could be a, a reason to actually spike the price, because I think that. Uh, the whales or whoever is manipulating market right now is depressing this price so much because there is a there is a there or there was even likelihood as liquid was saying because there was expectancy that people are gonna get 1.7 million lux and they are already very very depressed and lost the fate and they want to dump it so I believe that's also one of the reasons why the price is this much depressed this much depressed and if that's not going to happen if there's going to be confirmation and that can come tomorrow because they also promised that they're going to update us soon um um yeah and they say said here at the end if there comes a confirmation that uh, the people are not going to get 1.7 million lux anytime soon uh then I think that part of, part of this depressive reason is going to be a gun. Moreover, and what is the most important to realize here, that if this gets confirmed that they're only going to get, they're only going to let their, their users to withdraw 85% of the fund, we had more than 1% of, uh, of the circulating supply literally token burned okay if when this gets confirmed then there is going to be a confirmation that there was a token burn that happened and you know the price can only react to a token burn uh to a token burn new in only one direction so to close this video down I also informed you on my channel because uh, I'm, I'm now I'm not making the reviews anymore. I'm very busy with other things. Um, I'm just making the FaceTime videos like this and we're just uh, in a simplified way. And in my last video, I informed you that uh, about three weeks ago, I believe it was. Yeah, it was about. I believe I was scaling down Luxo for 650. It was somewhere here. Um, I, I, um, I cut my Luxo, I informed you here about it, and I rotated my Luxo funds uh, to Pepe and to some other projects. Uh, also NXR, I think. Uh, I, I don't know exactly where immediately. But uh, what I've done today, that I've actually came back at least partially. I don't have as much Luxo as I used to have. But today I have came back to Luxo uh, and um, my reasoning is uh, the data that I have shared with you because um, I believe that there could come very soon actually a point where this depression suddenly ends and, and it's going to be then very sudden. So it then I think what can happen here, what is likely to happen here that is not going to then start, you know, just gaining some some uh, some buying power. But what I think can happen more more likely is going to immediately shoot into this level, like seven fifty to eight or so, and then from there, you know, I'm I'm expecting some other uh, price action, but all reasonably reasonably uh, reasonably fast and quickly. So I took this risk. It's very, very difficult to buy Luxo today. Nobody wants to buy it. As Felix Zula says, however, that a good bottom, nobody wants to buy. But at the same time, I do not, um, I do not um, uh, um, ignore the real danger that is as well uh, there. 
and that uh, the, the price could really spiral down and really down even you know into a, a new cycle low and and even i don't know how low even from there and endangered development and and this could become a sinking ship so but the data that i can see do not suggest that so uh, with that thank you very much uh, for your attention lux community uh, this was a, a way longer video than i uh, do uh, but uh, i thought that uh, that really um i should walk you through my data collection as well and also through my reasoning um because uh, the situation is uh, is really critical uh, in Laxo and uh, depressed is understatement to say it's depressed is understatement. So uh, I hope that uh, uh, fingers crossed that this video will age well because uh, it's it's very difficult to actually buy into Laxo uh, these weeks. Very, very difficult.